Hi and welcome to my second video uh, in this series about describing motion and today we're going to be looking at velocity time graphs. So in the last video we looked at um, distance time graphs and so today we're going to be looking at a velocity time graph and if you remember back from last time velocity is simply speed with direction. And so if we give this example of um, an object moving so we're going to illustrate a car um, that's going to in the first instance is going to accelerate um, to 30 miles an hour in 20 seconds um, and then it's going to um, go at a constant speed for 40 seconds then going to decelerate um, and then it's going to continue going at 10 miles an hour for another 30 seconds and then it's going to come to a stop in 10 seconds um, and so this is what the graph will look like and so in the first instance part one the car accelerates to 30 miles an hour so in this case it's gone up to 30 miles an hour so if we draw a line between those two points um, so 0 to 30 and then the car begin, continues to travel at 30 miles an hour for a further 40 seconds so if we measured the time difference between these two points that would be 40 seconds the car then decelerates um, to 10 miles an hour so it would be down here somewhere and it does that in 30 seconds um, it then continues to travel um, at 10 for another 30 seconds again the distance between those two points is 30 seconds and finally um, then it comes to a stop um, in 10 seconds and so there and if we drew a line um, hooking all those points up so part one is that section there, two there, three there, four there, five there and so one further thing, what you have in the red here is the time taken um, in total at each point. And so for instance, um, that's 20 seconds, that would be 60 for 2, this would be 80, um, 110 and 120. Um, if we were to look at the specifically the first part, so the acceleration from 0 to 30 seconds, we can actually calculate the acceleration. And so the acceleration is calculated, the change in the velocity, um, and that's divided by the time taken. So if we just look at A here first. Now what's happening here is it's going from 0 to 30. So the change in velocity is 30. Um, and the time taken to do that, I believe, was 10 seconds. Or 20 seconds, sorry. And so therefore it's 30 over 20, giving you an acceleration of 1.5 um, metres per second per second. And that's the unit um, for acceleration. M forward slash S. And then the S has um, a squared above it. So not only can you tell the acceleration um, from a velocity time graph, you can also tell um, the distance moved. And so in this instance, the distance moved is the area under the curve for a specific section. Um, and so if we just highlight the second part here, so this being green, um, that actual area um, tells us the distance moved by the object. And so the area is the length by the width. In this case, it's 30 times by 40 seconds and therefore you have 120 miles. That would be the total distance moved just in that second section there. Now one thing to note here, if you actually look at the y-axis on this graph, it says the average speed. And so this is technically a speed time graph. Now the difference between a speed time graph and a velocity time is that speed um, is the same in any direction. Velocity is a speed with direction, so you can have positive and negative values. And that's something we're going to look at in the following video. So some important things to know on a um, speed time or a velocity time graph. The gradient um, is the acceleration. Um, when there's a flat section, that means it's travelling at a constant speed. The steeper the slope, the greater the level of acceleration. Um, when the line goes upwards, um, that's an acceleration. When it goes downwards, that's a deceleration. And the area under the curve you can use to figure out the distance travelled. So if we compare some of the differences between distance time and velocity time graphs, so um, for an object that's stopped on a distance time, um, that's a flat line um, running straight across, the constant velocity um, will be a straight line with a gradient um, going upwards, and a constant acceleration will be an upward curve like that. Um, for a velocity time, stopped would be a line along the x-axis, um, for a constant velocity, that will be a flat line above the x-axis. For a constant acceleration, that will be a line um, with a gradient going upwards. Next video, we're going to look at um, specifically velocity time graphs. 